everybody. Thank you for joining us again for another student success interview. Today we have Kevin Simbura here with us today. He is a nursing student at Los Madano College and he is a volunteer at the Pittsburgh Clinic for the Vaccinations. So thank you so much for being here with us, Kevin. Yeah, you're welcome. So let's jump right into the first question. Could you please tell us a little bit more about yourself? Um, so Let's see, where do I start? Uh, so I'm currently a nursing student, almost done in, uh, with the nursing program. I think we're down to like 37 days. Um, right. And I've been, yeah, I've been on this path for about 10 years, 11 years. Um, I initially, it started when I graduated EMT. I was going to go, uh, the fire department, I worked um, BLS transport for about a year and then did 911 transport on the ambulance for three Okay. Uh, and in that time, kind of realized that the fire department wasn't exactly the route that I wanted to go. I was kind mm -hmm. of being more called to like in hospital. Uh, so then transitioned, found a job as an ER technician in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, and and as my relationship grew with like the nurses and the doctors uh, in there, really felt called to nursing. And so about five and a half years ago, I uh, started my prereqs. Mm -hmm. and uh, moving that direction. So here we are. Wow, what a journey. <laughs> yeah. So how did you end up choosing LMC to pursue nursing? So, um, so honestly, where I was living before, I was actually close to the Contra Costa College. Oh. And I had, right out of high school, I had um, lived in Hercules. And so I started going to DDC. And oh. like theater is what I was into at the time. So I started, took um, initial courses for like an associate's, you know, theater and then some general education there. Mm -hmm. But really quickly, work ended up kind of overruling because I, I didn't know exactly about do, like majoring in theater. I knew I wanted to take the classes. Mm -hmm. So then I just focused on work for a while. And then when I was living, uh, Contra Costa was closer to me. And so I went back for some things there. Um, and then when it came time to apply to the nursing programs, um, Contra Costa College is initially where I wanted to go just because it was closer to me, mm -hmm. but, but really like I hadn't researched a lot about it. It was really just kind of, you know, about that. Mm -hmm. And so I had applied one year and made it into the lottery, but not low enough to get selected. And then I had heard that um, Los Bananos' program was a merit-based program. It had mm -hmm. just transitioned to okay. merit-based. And that got me really excited because since I started back in school in 2010, I was just really focused on grades, kind of more than I had been in high school. <laughs> uh, it was just, you know, I was more mature and, you know, was put more focus in education. And so applied and ended up getting, uh, so by the time it was ready for the next year, it was actually applied to Contra Costa and Los Bananos. Mm -hmm. Again, made the lottery at Contra Costa, but again, not, not low enough. They didn't take enough students to get you know, um, to my number. And I was able to get into Los Manamas on the first time because of like how hard I had been, you know, working and uh, to, you know, to <clears throat> the grades. Uh, but now I'm really happy that that is the way that everything worked. I mean, I, I you know, I think that things happen for a reason, but mm -hmm. um, because I think that this, uh, from what I've gathered talking to different people, I, I feel like there are a lot of, um, this pro the program I know from personal experience is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then compared to others, there are also a lot of things um, about it that, that seem to be a little bit more attractive. Got it. So were there any particular moments at LMC that sort of stood out to you? Was there anyone that sort of helped you or guided you? So I can really only speak to like inside of the nursing program uh, because of you know my where I was living before, I hadn't taken any general education. Well except for EMT. That's mm -hmm. where I, I graduated, took and graduated my EMT course from Los Mananos. Okay. Um, but aside from that, no other um, like general education or prereq requirements there. But as far as the nursing program, as far as, as far as the nursing program itself goes, um, the one thing that stood out to me that was different um, was that there was, hold on one second. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. <laughs> 
All right. Um, sorry, daddy duty call. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Love seeing so, that. Yeah. Uh, the, one of the things that really stood out to me about the difference in this program, because, uh, you know, working in the medical, I had talked to a lot of different people that had been in different nursing programs. Mm -hmm. I was nervous going in because a lot of the people I talked to said the, there's a combination of like students and some and faculty and others are kind of just this, these attitudes. It was, a, it felt a lot more competitive. I had had one person tell me that like the first day they were like, look to your left and look to your right. You know, one of those people won't, won't make it to graduate, you know, won't make it through the course. And I, for, so the thing that stood out to me was that I always felt very supported by the, the faculty that I've interacted with at LMC. Like there's, there's not been that kind of, um, vibe it's really been much more of like we are here we are here for your success you know we want to do everything you know that we can to make you successful you know come, if you feel like you're struggling come to us they've really made themselves available for that kind of um support which has been really awesome that's great i've heard so many things about uh just the faculty and the people just working at the three colleges and how supportive they are. So it's great to see that um, all our colleges sort of cultivate that sense of community. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I did, you know, even in the, the cause the counselors that I talked to um, were at Contra Costa, you know, and, and when I would make appointments to go in there, um, you know, I, I really I really felt like everyone was doing what, you know, they, they were really invested in, you know, making, making you, making me successful, you know? Yeah. Definitely. So now going into your experience at the Pittsburgh Clinic, since you are volunteering there, could you talk a little bit more about that and sort of your perspective on like seeing different people come in and facing challenges and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah, that has been, I've been really thankful like to have that experience. That has been really, really awesome. Um, it's, it's, kind, it's, you know, obviously the, the pandemic that we're going through is, is place a lot of challenges for everyone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going into the nursing field, it has been really, it was really cool to, to have this opportunity to be able to participate in like, you know, being there to, to give vaccinations, you know, we're yeah. helping part of like, you know, try to break this, end this pandemic, you know, and, and kind of, hopefully help everyone get things back to normal. Mm -hmm. And there have been, I guess I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised because the, the people that are there for the vaccine are all, you know, I believe really there because that's, you know, they, they really want to get there. No one, you know, is being like forced to get it, but mm -hmm. I've had some interactions with some, some very emotional and moving interactions with patients who have, I've had a couple patients, you know, cry as I've been giving the the injection because they are so excited to to you know be receiving the vaccine and it means you know so much to them it's been it's been really it's been really cool definitely i know that the vaccine has brought a lot of hope to people and just having a sense of like normalcy coming back and the possibility mm -hmm. of that is very comforting so yeah i'm very thankful for all the nurses out there and all the healthcare workers. So thank you so much for uh, just risking yourselves and just doing everything for the community. Totally appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. It's uh, I'm again. I'm just really thankful for for that that opportunity to to see to see it. You know, at that at that level. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you think the your experience at the clinic sort of helps you in your nursing career? Definitely feel like it, you know, it, I mean, it's giving you uh, uh, an absolute firsthand, you know, um, frontline, I guess, as, as it were, uh, you know, experience. It's based because of the pandemic, we had to do a lot of our stuff online. There was a period where we were doing some virtual simulations mm -hmm. and, you know, so we had to do that. And while, you know, I enjoyed that program, it's, it's just not the same, right? It's like yeah. putting your, your hands on a, you know, on a patient, you're, you know, when you're checking their ID, you know, it's like the, it's, it's not, it's not the same, obviously, you know, Definitely. doing it virtually. Definitely. And so to have that, you know, that face-to-face -face interaction has been, has been really awesome. That's um, great. Yeah. 
very lucky to be able to like actually practice what you learn. I know a lot of people are struggling with taking classes online and just sitting at their computer for hours on end. So yeah. Yeah. It did. Yeah, that definitely has been a challenge. <laughs> Um, so the next question that I have is what piece of advice do you have for other community college students who are sort of pursuing their career goals? Uh, don't give up. I, I mean, <laughs> there, there have been, you know, going into the program and even, even in prerequisites, you know, that their, their life just continues to happen, you know, when you're, when you're going to school and there were definitely times in, in prerequisites where it, it felt that, you know, I felt a little bit overwhelmed mm -hmm. and especially going through the nursing program. Um, you know, if you, if you're, you know, especially if you're like, if you're really feeling called, you know, you, you know, you're being pulled, you know, you're being pulled in this direction. You've got the strong interest in it. Um, it will, from my experience, it will be worth it. Like every time I felt these challenges felt overwhelmed, like I couldn't make it. And I just, in a sense, like close, close my eyes, put my head down. was like, I need to just keep moving forward and made that decision. Every time I've gone through whatever those challenges were, they felt a little bit smaller once they were done, you know, even though, you know, no, no, they weren't. Mm -hmm. um, but, but it has always felt, it has always felt, you know, worth it. Um, there's a sense of satisfaction. And, and then the other thing is, you know, don't be afraid to like reach out. I know the, the, it's the, the college seems to have a lot of um, motivation and they're expressing a lot of desire to make their students successful. You know, um, don't be uh, afraid to, you know, either talk to a counselor or student services and see what kind of support there might be. Um, and, and, you know, and if you have that too, like your friends, I've bothered a lot of my friends just because it's like, Hey man, you know, it's kind of like the just venting, um, you know, or, or just, just getting together to kind of express frustrations or concerns and things like that. For me, that's how I operate, you know, having time to be able to get stuff off of my chest. Um, but also that might not also be necessarily like friends, but doing things that bring like taking time even when i don't feel like i have it like i should be studying or there's there's always one more thing you could be doing mm -hmm. but i have a lot of times i've continued to force myself to take small increments of time to, to get outside and go for a hike and, and do a ton with you know doing doing activities with my with my girls um because it, it it obviously it brings them happiness, but it, it's a it's like a relief for me. It brings me extra happiness, and getting out to do things that that bring you joy help relieve a lot of that stress, and and also provide yeah. continued like, hey, this is why I'm doing this. Continued motivation. Yeah, definitely. I feel like the good part about the pandemic is everyone could sort of take a pause and see what like what you should prioritize in life, like family, because we've been so consumed by work before that we never realized yeah. a lot of things. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So what are your future plans uh, in nursing? Like, what is your end career goal? <laughs> so I've got some very large aspirations. That's good. Um, <laughs> the, the immediate goal is going to be to find a nursing job in emergency. Um, since I, since I forayed into that, you know, like by way of, you know, the, like heading towards fire, right. We mm -hmm. spent those four years on an ambulance doing, doing that emergency care. I'm really drawn to those situations, you know, like, um, and talking with people, I know that, you know, not everybody is, everyone kind of has their, their niche, the things that, they, you know, they feel, you know, pulled towards mm -hmm. and those those situations are the ones that really like pull. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Those are the situations that really feel like they 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 pull at me. And so, I definitely in the immediate interim want to get want to get involved in. Uh, Hello. <laughs> say hi. What's your name? She said, "What's your name?" Lily. Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. <laughs> she said, "Nice to meet you." Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll be done in a minute. I need to, I need to finish this up, babe, okay? Yeah, I'll be done in a minute.
<laughs> yeah. I'll be done in a minute. So the no. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, so the, the emergency is what what really really calls me. And I so I'm gonna be doing that initially, but long term I think that I'm I really feel like I might end up in politics somewhere. I really am feeling drawn towards um trying to be an advocate for positive change. So mm -hmm. making changes to health education. Um, a lot of things, a lot of things regard uh, related to public health, um, and and then kind of like services for uh, underserved communities. Because I, you know, I spent a lot of time working um, at a small hospital in a uh, at a small hospital in an in uh, what you know what's considered like an, an underserved community, and there are just mm -hmm. so many disparities and. I know there's a lot of people that are that are already, you know, working to try to remedy these things, and provide more resources and um, and opportunities, um, you know, and and sources for both, um, you know, like just kind of your 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 basic, you know, food, water, shelter needs, uh, but also, you know, mental health and other kind of healthcare needs. And I'm really feeling pulled in that direction. So. There's going to be more education. There's there's probably going to be a master's, and there's going to Learning be a PhD likely. And, <laughs> right, uh, but those those things, for the most part, some of those are. I want to be able to be more present, um, you know, with my girls. Like I'm going to do the bachelor's thing right away, or pretty soon, you know, short after, um, and then probably start getting involved in. I, I you know I've got to look at it whether it's going to be like a, a school nurse to get involved and in, and kind of start to see where that goes, mm -hmm. or um, or maybe like sitting on the school board to see, I, I think that might be one of the areas that I start Got because it. that the kind of public health and health education is something that I'm really feeling called to, uh, to help with, to, to, you know, yeah. participate in. Yeah. We need more people, uh, just radicalizing and changing healthcare. Cause that's a tough conversation for a lot of families in our community and. Our yeah. Education. Yeah. And it's going to be, a, it's going to be, it's not going to be easy, right? Of course, you know, it's going to, there's a lot, a lot of obstacles to overcome, but I, it's a lot of things I feel pulled to help with are things that just are for the benefit of, you know, society or mm -hmm. for the benefit, you know, like why, why wouldn't we want to put our, um, you know, prepare our kids as best we can to, yeah. you know, and, and just, you know, for, for everyone to have a nice, solid, good public health, you know, definitely. Well, my very last question for you is outside of work in school, what do you enjoy doing? <laughs> ah, a, a ton of activities with my little <laughs> one. Um, we enjoy going on bike rides, hikes. Uh, I enjoy rock climbing. I also um, spend a lot of time playing music. So I oh, wow. play like the guitar and the bass and the drums. So sometimes spend time playing other people's songs, sometimes spend, you know, spend time doing like songwriting for myself. Mm -hmm. um, wow. But a lot of a lot of physical activities. Going to beaches, beach picnics, <laughs> rainy rainy day muddy hikes. Okay. Just, Lily likes beaches yeah. and muddy hikes. <laughs> you like beaches and muddy hikes. And mm -hmm, and taking um picnics on bike rides and doing like bike ride picnics. Yeah, wow. A lot of outdoor yeah. activities. It's great. And going to national parks, right? Like Yosemite and things like that. Nice. Yeah, we've got to figure out when we're going to have time to do that. Once the semester's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, those are all the questions that I have for you today. Thank you for just all of your advice to students and just for all the work that you're doing in the community. We totally appreciate that. And tell Lily you said thank you for also yeah. answering some of our questions. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thank you again to the audience. We hope that you enjoyed this interview. We really uh, want to thank the healthcare and frontline workers just like Kevin who are helping trying to bring normalcy back to the world today. So we will see you in the next interview and thank you.